An enjoyable, stress-free lifestyle is the wish of every sensible human being. And the best way to do so is by working less. The four-day work week has been tried by companies, including tech giant Microsoft. And contrary to expectation, productivity was enhanced. So, here are the eight best countries to live with a four-day work week. The United Arab Emirates is a spectacular country everybody would like to visit. It's progressed so much from just a collection of Bedouin tribes to one of the wealthiest countries in the world. It is a land flowing with milk and honey or gold and diamonds, thanks to their access to massive oil deposits and firm government control over the resources. It's also a country with amazing architecture that'll keep your mouth wide open. The Burj Khalifa is well known to be the tallest man-made structure in the world, and tourists find it difficult to explain the beauty of the heart of Sharjah. The United Arab Emirates became the first country to transit to the four and a half day work week in 2021. Working hours became flexible, and workers have the option to work from the comfort of their homes on Friday, being a holy day, while Saturday and Sundays are complete full-on holidays. The four-day work week is not just fluff, but a decision taken by the UAE government to boost work and life balance and enhance social well-being. Brussels, the capital of Belgium, is often referred to as the capital of the European Union, which is because it's home to the European Union headquarters and the NATO Commission headquarters. Belgium is a country of many European languages, with three major languages being German, French, and Dutch, making it just the right environment to portray European unity and strength. There are also the frontrunners in a lot of things. Belgian scientist Robert Callao invented the World Wide Web along with Tim Berners-Lee, which is proof that when Belgium leads, others follow. Belgian employees have been clamoring for the four-day work week for years and ended up winning that right on March of 2021. This is, however, not compulsory, as employees will be able to decide whether they work a four- or five-day week. This doesn't mean that they'll work less, they'll only condense their working hours into fewer days. The beauty of the move is that it's a matter of choice in Belgium without compromising productivity. Alexander de Croo, Belgium's prime minister, stated it just rightly. The goal of the four-day working week is to give people and companies more freedom to arrange their work time. Belgium sets the pace, and boy do they do it intelligently. Japan is a nation famous for its technological advancement and its lovely traditional arts. It's home to several UNESCO World Heritage Sites and is the comfortable abode of sushi, its most famous culinary export. Japan's economy is massive, as it was the second largest in the world just after the United States up until 2010. Despite the falling behind China in the pecking order, Japan's economy is still very strong, and its population of 126 million people enjoy a very high standard of living. With a per capita GDP of $40,000 in 2015, Japanese contractors and employees cherish productivity, and it is no surprise that they were quick to embrace the idea of a productive four-day working week. Or a three-day weekend, if that sounds better. Japan is particularly known for its overwork culture, as it was better for a work-life balance that the Japanese government introduced new economic policy guidelines, recommending that companies switch to a four-day work week. The government was particularly serious about it in June 2021, strongly urging firms to adopt the new work schedule to make life easier for the Japanese and to further boost the well-being of hard workers. Employer, employers in Japan were already used to the five-day work week routine, and there were a lot of people at least were skeptical about the new development proposed by the Japanese government until Microsoft Japan showed an amazing 40% productivity increase after adopting the four-day work week. Now, it seems like life is much easier and healthier in Japan. When greatness is being discussed among nations, the UK often becomes a topic of discussion. The nation is one of the world's superpowers and a prominent member of the G8, being one of the United Nations founding countries. It is the sixth largest economy in the world and also the world's fifth largest military power. Great Britain has influenced the entire world in so many ways, and they were crucial to the end of the Second World War. They have a standard and organized parliamentary system and decision-making in the United Kingdom, and it just seems to be right most of the time. This great nation also embraced the idea of a four-day work week, and a trial regarded as the biggest of its kind has actually started in the UK. This six-month pilot program was launched in January, and companies are being recruited to study the impact of shorter working hours on productivity and the general well-being of their workers. As of the 4th of April, 60 companies with about 3,000 employees have signed up for this program. It's going to start in June this year, and it's going to be supervised by top researchers from the University of Cambridge, Oxford University, and Boston College. 
players are going to be allowed to work 9.5 hours if they desire, thus making it similar to Belgium's policy by squashing a week of work into four longer days. Or they'll have the choice to stick to regular length days for the four days, thus reducing their weekly working hours. New Zealand ranks pretty high on the quality of life, uh, education, protection from civil liberties, government transparency, and economic freedom sectors. When all of these are brought together, New Zealand can very rightly be classified as a developed nation. New Zealand is also on the move to implement the four-day work week, and Jacinda Ardern suggested in 2020 that employers should start considering it for their employees to make work options flexible. Though it was just a suggestion and not, you know, enforced, the fact that it came from the Prime Minister shows how important the debate on the four-day working week is to New Zealand. However, some companies have taken to the Prime Minister's advice with great results. Staff at Barnes Com Company Perpetual Guardian have been working four days a week since 2018, even before Arden's suggestion. This was implemented after a six-week trial in which staff are paid the same amount for fewer working days, which increased productivity by 20%. The Kingdom of Spain is famous for its lovely music and its dance vibes, its amazing architecture, its lovely Mediterranean beaches, its healthy Mediterranean diet, and definitely its great soccer skills. It was ranked as one of the best places to live in the world after the Rona crisis by the popular magazine Audience. Spain's economic stability is second to none. Which is why many investors find Spain to be very fertile ground for investment. The Spanish government has decided to further strengthen this economic stability by accepting the small left-wing party Mas Pais proposal to launch a modest pilot program of a four-day working week, for companies interested in the idea, that is. Though it's just a trial program, many political observers in Spain see this as a remarkable move that'll further shoot Spain's economy into greatness. Inigo Errejon, a member of the Spanish Congress, and Mas Pais tweeted, With the four-day work week, we're launching into the real debate of time. It's an idea whose time has come. This will enable several companies to extend their weekend by one day, with full pay, which is speculated to bring massive productivity without compromising excellence. Germany is already home to one of the shortest average working weeks in Europe. According to the World Economic Forum, an average worker in Germany works for 34 hours. Yet trade unions in Germany are still calling for further reduced working hours. Now, they don't call for this because they're lazy and not ready to work, but for logical reasons. Just last year, IG Metall, the country's largest trade union, called for shorter working weeks, arguing that it would help retain jobs and avoid layoffs. This hasn't dampened productivity in Germany in any way. The German economy is very innovative and competitive. High-selling sectors include the automobile industry, the chemicals industry, mechanical and plant engineering, and medical technology. The nation is the world's fourth largest economy following the United States, China, and Japan. It's also Europe's largest economy, despite workers working fewer hours. Iceland has been very outspoken in the call for a four-day working week, and they've been the most serious about it. Icelanders are peace-loving people and is known for being one of the happiest countries in the world. Iceland's taken some serious steps towards achieving a four-day work week. Between 2015 and 2019, Iceland conducted the world's largest pilot of 35 to 36 hour work week, which was cut down from the original, or traditional rather, 40 hours. This was done without any calls for a pay cut. About 2,500 people took part in this test phase, and to ensure quality control, the results were analyzed by the British Think Tank Autonomy and the Icelandic Nonprofit Association for Sustainability and Democracy. The pilot was a success, and Icelandic trade unions negotiated for a reduction in working hours. Now, 90% of the working population in Iceland has reduced hours. Researchers then found out that the workers' stress and burnout were greatly reduced in Iceland, and there was an improvement in the work-life balance. 